For the first time today, the Vatican put on public display bone fragments believed to be the remains of St. Peter, the founding pope. Alan Pizzi was there. The sacred relics were brought to the altar in a solemn procession at a mass to mark the end of the Year of the Faithful. The nine fragments were in a jewel box inside a bronze display case. Pope Francis prayed before the bones at the start of the service and later clutched the box in his arms for several minutes. It's an act Father Gino Silva of Patterson, New Jersey says is integral to the Catholic faith. We believe that when we venerate the relics, what we really do is we honor the saints who help us grow in living the Christian virtues of faith, hope and love. The bones were found during an 11-year excavation under St. Peter's Basilica that led to an announcement in 1950 that the Apostles' tomb had been found. Graffiti written in ancient Greek near the tomb was interpreted as meaning, Peter is here. In 1968, Pope Paul VI said the bones had been identified in a way that we believe to be convincing. But scientific tests prove only that they belong to a robust man who died in his 60s. Peter is called the rock upon which Christ founded his church on earth. And in the last year alone, more than eight and a half million pilgrims visited his tomb. St. Peter's Basilica was built to honor the place where the man considered to be the first pope was crucified in the year 64 AD. What the style of the 266th pope has done for it, even the saint couldn't have imagined. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Vatican City.